The ProHeat induction system is an effective and simple means of applying heat to welded assemblies. Depending on the required procedure, either air-cooled or liquid-cooled components can be used. The air-cooled system is used for preheat procedures only, while the liquid-cooled system can be used for high-temperature procedures including preheat, hydrogen bake-out, and stress relieving. Induction power sources have become more compact and Miller has worked to significantly simplify operations for induction heating. The power source for the ProHeat system is highly efficient, requiring less than 60 amps for 35 kilowatt output on a 460 to 575 volt line. The ProHeat system is portable, allowing for easy use within a variety of worksite environments. Running gear can be added to the power source or below the cooler when using a liquid cooled system to easily roll the system throughout the worksite. A sturdy lifting eye atop the power source accommodates overhead cranes. The ProHeat can also be transported by forklift. The recorder securely fastens to the top of the ProHeat power source. A digital recorder can be used for documentation often essential in post-weld heat treatments and in critical preheat applications. A 110 volt receptacle provides the necessary power for the recorder. An integrated controller provides an intelligent and easy way to control the heating process in real time. The controller allows you to heat in two ways, manual heating and temperature-based heating. In manual heating, simply set the system for power and time. The system will provide the set power for the program time and then turn off automatically. In temperature-based heating, the controller provides the ability to step, ramp, or hold temperatures by regulating power source output based on temperature feedback from the thermocouples attached to the part. To learn more about the ProHeat system and either its air-cooled components or liquid-cooled components, Click on either selection on the left. You will begin by connecting input power. Be sure that power is off before connecting any system cables. Connection of primary power should be performed by a qualified electrical technician. For instructions on connecting the power cable to the source and related safety information, please refer to the owner's manual and safety section of the CD. Using three-phase power cable, route the input power cable through the strain relief on the rear panel. Connect grounding conductor, the green line, to ground terminal first. Then connect input conductors to the junction block and tighten the strain relief. Close and secure the primary cover. There are two output connectors at the rear of the ProHeat. Simply insert an output cable into the connector and turn the locking ring to lock into place. When using only one output cable, remember to use an output plug in the other connector which will allow the machine to operate. When connecting liquid-cooled output cables, be sure to grasp the locking ring when turning. Do not turn by grabbing the quick connects, which are designed solely for connecting coolant lines. The isolation fault magnet must be connected to the power source. It connects easily to the back of the ProHeat where there are two isolation fault magnet connectors. One when using single power output and a second when two power output cables are in use. Lastly, thermocouple extension cables attach here on the front of the ProHeat. To learn more about using thermocouples, click on Temperature Measurement.